A kind day to you all! I am Kinsmark, and this is Let's Play Greetings. I can't say I know anything about it, aside from the fact that it came from a mini-jam, so I think I can anticipate a condensed experience, because one of you suggested that I play this, and specifically said that I shouldn't look up anything about it, because it might spoil it for me. So, I'm curious about the meaning of that sentiment. I've already set this to graphics 4 and full-screened it, so, uh... Click play. See the hell I'm in for here. As one can probably tell already, comes rendered on the Unreal 4 engine, so absolutely gorgeous assets at play here. Alright, the frame rate is a little stuttery. Actually, a lot stuttery. Creepy atmosphere, because there's just enough ambiance to give a sense of activity, because I can hear air moving, etc. I can't seem to hear my own footsteps, I can't see my feet either. So I assume I should follow the orange lights. I excuse me. Anything about to pop out of that doorway at me? I assume that's on yet. Because maybe I am on Soviet space station. Maybe I am on spaceship. Maybe I am not in space. Maybe I am in subterranean or maybe undersea compound. I cannot tell. Alright, so... I should probably head that way, because again, I assume the orange lights are... Oh, they are here too, so... Oh, that's because they lead to the same hallway. All right, and there's just an ambiance orange glow there. So actually clever level design so far. I actually like it when a level can lead one along a course. And yeah, sure, there aren't any other open doors. So it's fairly one-tracked. At the same time though, I like using lighting and coloration in level design as a means of guiding the player along. I, I enjoy that sort of thing, so. All right, first open environment. Am I at any sort of threat in this game? Should I feel nervous? Because I'm hearing a rhythmic sort of sound that almost sounds like respiration of some creepy kind. Alright, again with the orange lights leading the way. So I'll follow them. I assume the greetings name for this game implies that I'll meet Someone or something. That looks like a straight up gray. Uh. Ah. Uh. Hey, Tom. Hey, Greg. Excuse me? Could you run that past me again? Hang, hang on, no, no. Charlie, Sharon, Sierra, however the hell you say your name, you're welcome for playing. The hell was that? No, 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 hi. Hey, hang on, hang on. No, that's... You can't just do that. You can't just call it cut. It just quits. Alright. All right. Credit to you developers. For completely and totally subverting my expectations. I thought this was some sort of short horror game. I thought I was about to just get jump scare, smash cut to credits, and that's it. Nah, just... Hey, Tom. Hi, Greg. I can't complain. I can't critique. I can't say anything other than that happened. And it was actually pretty well put together. I mean, as short as it was and as, uh, intentionally underwhelming. So, I mean, clearly this serves as an adequate example of how to put together a level design in the Unreal Engine, because, uh, again, the orange lights leading the way made for an unobtrusive, completely, actually, come to think of it, UI-less approach to leading the player along a course, so, uh, Credit there, I guess. That's all I can say about this. So, apologies for the incredibly short episode. I anticipated at least a little more than this. So, uh, 
Check it out at the link in the description if you're so inclined. Prank your friends. Tell them they're in for one hell of a horrific experience that'll scar their mind and that they'll never forget forever. It will change them fundamentally as a person. And then give them a link to this. So, cheers to you guys for watching. Thank you all kindly. I'm Ken's here at Let's Full Press. If you've enjoyed this episode, consider checking out our Patreon. Let's get the show alive. And as always, wish you all good gaming and Godspeed.